It's the 10th of September, 2023, here at Cantini. My name is John Sauter. I am an officer of engineers for the Continental Army. I am a surveying officer, and what I have here is the uh, surveying compass that we would have used to lay out roads, encampments, uh, forts, and is this is a replica of a David Rittenhouse compass, which was one of the premier compasses, compass makers of the day in the colonies. Uh, what I have here are the two types of chain. Those are used for measurement. A chain is 66 feet. That is uh, our standard of measurement. What is basically, it divides into uh, a one mile very easily. Uh, what you have today is 10 chains like this of a whole chain, 660 feet, is called a furlong. People today know furlongs at racetracks as a one eighth of a mile. So 8 times 10 is 80, so 80 chains equals a mile. Uh, this is a half chain made, it's called a Pennsylvania chain. It is slightly different than the Gunther's chain, which was standard in the counties. This was prim primarily used in, only in Pennsylvania. It was made by David Rittenhouse, and instead of having 100 links per 66 feet, it has 80 links per 66 feet. This is a half chain, so it only has 40 links, but it's 33 feet. The other thing that we, our item that we have is our surveying pins. They're round on the top because we are going to tie linen rags to them as we put them into the ground. We put a linen rag so we know where it's at, so in the brush. And what would happen is we have one right there. And that is right below my plumb box, which is the starting point of any survey. That's our first uh, pin that we're going to use for serving. What would happen is the chain men would come in and measure from that point by holding it right here on the chain, on, right there on the ground and he would run all the, he would run the chain out. The one who's holding it there is called the dumb end. And the man who is running the chain that way, who is also going to have the serving stakes, is called the smart end, because he gets to do more work. The, 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 the person on the dumb end is actually an apprentice. The, the man on the smart end is actually an accomplished line, what's called a chain man or a lineman. And he would know where to do it. What we do is to tell as he's running the chain out, I would sight and guide him so he keeps the uh, chain straight for the distance that we is required that we're going to have. Uh, our distances, and if you see old plats, it's going to be uh, a line of bearing, either like this compass right now is set up at north 25 east. That means it's the bear, line of bearing is to the north. It is 25 degrees off north to the east. And so we write it N 25E and how many chains we, we wrote that uh, that line is going to be. Uh, that, and that may be for a boundary or maybe for an encampment. We're setting up the company streets. But this is what we would use to set it up accurately and usually each regiment had its own regiment of surveyors because the, re the surveyor it would join up oh you are a surveyor you are now an officer you're in charge of about 50 people because if we were out to set up a fort it isn't just the five men who do the survey which would be the surveyor the recorder who would stand right here and as I'm giving bearing and he would be recording it, how many chains we did, he would be recording it, so we could re later do up a plat. Then we would have the two chain men, and we have using a rod man who is what the chain men are trying to go to. The rod man is out and he's, make, he's the other end of the line of bearing. Once that is done, we can start setting up like a fort, we measure off one full chain, one half chain, that's 99 feet. We add another foot, it's 100 feet. We now have a side of the fort. 
we go 90 degrees on each side and then another 90 degrees so we have a square from there there is a standard set of engineering instructions on how to build put the walls up and where the walls are supposed to be and we would have that uh, basically it's off the top of your head at the halfway points it's one eighth back which would be 12 and a half feet for a hundred foot fort uh, the bastions are going to be two sevenths of the 100 feet. I don't, why they said sevenths, I have no idea, but it's two sevenths. That is, that be ingrained into the surveyor's head and because we would have to be able to do this without taking a lot of textbooks out. But we would always take one textbook out with us, it's called Geodesia. It was originally written in 1680. This edition is. Uh, 1796 and the eighth that was the 13th the eighth edition is 1768 that's the one that's this uh, if you read it well uh, it's written in the English text and type of the period we have to read it twice once just to figure out what the words are and then once for the content but what it does is that basically a textbook for surveyors this is what everyone would use. So if you're a surveyor, you had to know this book inside out. And in the back, it has all the trig tables and uh, other tables that are needed for surveying. It's basically our textbook. Uh, they did an improved version uh, later in about 1790, and it's called Geodesia Improved, or How to Make Surveying Easy. All right, you basically would be surveying for dummies. But those are the two books that we would have had, and that's what surveyors would take with them out in the field. And then what you have is my garb right here as an officer, uh, the Gorgier. I'm a frontier officer. I don't have a Batman to go over and shine my gear and make sure my boots are clean and stuff like that. I have other things to do than shine this up. Uh, I have to I'm busy doing making everything like the surveying and also conducting the, the troops that are under my, my command. Who has time to go over and start polishing brass? Well, I don't. Uh, I, uh, so this signifies that I'm an officer as a gorget. This is also an officer's thing. It's an officer's sash. Now the hat tells about what my rank is. My hat has a green ribbon. That signifies that I'm a lieutenant. If it was a red ri ribbon, that would be a captain. That would be the captain in charge of the survey chiefs, uh, of the different surveys. He'd be in charge of all the serving companies in the group. Any questions that we have here? No. Thank you very much.